What's going on, guys? So I just got out of the gym, and I just, I was thinking about it before I came to the gym, and it's like, I used to wake up every morning, be like, oh, man, the gym, such a drag, you know, like, you don't want to get out of bed, you're nice and warm, and you just, you start, like, you just start thinking of a million reasons why you shouldn't go to the gym and you forget to be uh, think about the one reason why you should go to the gym and I've been going to the gym for the past like close to two weeks now and it's it's literally becoming a habit it's normal it's like it's something that I look forward to now I wake up and it's only been two weeks they say it takes about I believe it's 21 days for your mind to get used to doing something uh, repetitively and I wake up every morning and I'm like I need to go get that sweat and you know I'll go on the treadmill for half an hour either go incline and walk fast or run or do both and after I get out the gym I'm a little bit sore because I push myself to like to do that extra set or to do that those extra reps and It feels good because now I put on my clothes and it fits me like tight. Like I feel good about myself, you know. I feel like, man, like I I look good, you know. I look at myself, I'm like, dang, you look good, Luis. And it really feels good, you know. It brings your self-esteem like up. It really, really does. And I'm super grateful that I'm able to say that today. Like I'm able to say that my self-esteem is getting a lot better. And I feel a lot more confident about myself. And I look forward to going to the gym now because I do want to get to that next level. I want my hands to get bigger. I want to see more cuts in my in my body. It's hard work, but, you know, hard work pays. Pain is gain. And just remember that and push yourself to do the things that you don't like doing because the things we don't like doing, those are usually the things we have to do the most to improve. And I truly believe that, you know, you just have to have an open mind and a strong heart and a desire to want to change. With those three things in place, there's nothing that can literally stop you. Nothing. There's nothing that can stop you. So I'm just grateful for that, you know. And I I want to motivate you guys to do the same thing because it really, really does help you, you know. Instead of isolation, isolating yourself or, you know, just staying indoors, just go out, get some sun, and don't worry about what other people think about you. Just worry about what you think about you and what you're going to do to improve because you can't control what everyone else's thoughts are. You can't control what everyone else wants to think about you. It's just a self-reflection about themselves. People are going to judge you no matter what, and... You have to understand that sometimes it's just, like I said, a reflection of what they want to change about themselves. And it's just easier for us to do that. So let's just love one another and let's help one another. And things will change, you know. Things do start changing when you start helping other people. And you start, you know, just showing your kindness to other people versus trying to put other people down to make yourself feel better. That... That never pays well. You just have to always remember that who you are and be happy with yourself and with with what you have accomplished in life. And, you know, do you and everything else will follow. Just remember that. You guys have a wonderful day and talk to you guys later. Bye.